Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at Android notifications in Xamarin.Android using the Visual Studio 2019. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't, because I've got lots of videos coming up. So let's get to it then. Android provides two system controlled areas for displaying notification icons and notification information to the user. So when a notification is first published, its icon is displayed in the notification area, which is which starts from the top left side of where um, just after the time, most of the time. Yeah, so as you can see, we've got G, the, the G here for um, Google notification. So this example of the notification area. And, and then the, there is the information area where you can you can draw down like this to view the um, notification information, right? So let's get to it. Then. So we're just gonna um, we're just gonna write a very simple pro program just to to show you how we can display the notifications, right? So we can get started by clicking on the create a new project. So here. Um, on the platforms we select Android and then we select um, Android app so we click on the next and then here we ain't gonna configure any app, um, project detail we're just gonna click on the create just to save more time and then we're gonna use the, the blank app so we're just gonna wait for the project to load so now we've got a project loaded so what we do next is we just open the right click the reference and go to manage new get package. So here we're going to go to browse and install one package, which is the Android Android support v4. So which is mostly the top bit here. So it's xamarin.android.support.v4. We install it. So click OK and accept. So we get that create, I mean, downloaded. So we've got that bit sorted. I'm just going to close this here now. So now what we're going to do is so I'm just going to remove this bit here and, 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 and just put notification up, something like this. That's fine. So now we're just going to go inside uh, the assets. No, not the assets, um, the resources, the layout, and then the main activity we're just going to make the whole thing fast so so inside of activity underscore main dot xml we're just gonna change the relative layout to to linear just gonna make this linear layout right so inside it we're gonna add a button. So the width, we're just gonna match parent. And the height, we're gonna wrap content. Yeah, so inside we're just gonna put some few attributes. The next bit is just uh, the Android ID. So we're just gonna name it button not the button one just something like this yeah so the next is of course we're just gonna put a test here so it's just a test so we're just gonna grab it from the string side so all the time we're just gonna create this bit string forward slash just gonna say channel underscore name yeah so we're just gonna put it nicely here so we, what we do is we inside that um, the resources we open the, the values and then open the string so here uh, what we do is we're just gonna create string first the name channel underscore name So we could just say 
notification application. Uh, we're just going to save it, then come inside the main activity. So here we're just going to set some private constant fields. So this first one is, is private static um, read only integer. So this will be notification underscore ID. So we're just going to set this to 1000. So next bit is private static read only string and this one will be channel ID. We're just going to put location underscore notification. Yeah, so the last bit here is you're just going to put private integer underscore count. We're going to set that to zero. Yeah, so that's all we're going to do for here now. So what we do is just going to build the app for the first time. So right click and build the app. So we've got the app built to see that. So once we've got the build to see that, we just come right on after the set content view, then we select our variable button, which is equal to um, find by find view by ID, which is the button. So we say resource. dot um, id dot button so we should get that variable button that we've just created so we just signed to the click event so button dot click so button dot click so subscribe to the the click event so here we come inside the click the button click event handler so we just this is what we're gonna put inside it so we're gonna start with a variable called a builder variable builder which is equal to new notification notification compact so it's this bit one this one here new notification compact yeah so inside we put this contest and then our channel ID and no, so that um, so there's one more thing that I forgot is dot builder instead here yeah so the next bit is we set the auto cancel oh man my apologies set auto cancel we set that to true so the next bit of course is um actually we're just gonna remove this bit here press enter so dot so we're just gonna set some details here so is it that um, we set the content title yeah set the content title of the notification so we're just gonna call this one 
button clicked, then we set the number. So this one will be our underscore count. So we're actually creating the notification, right? So we set the small icon. So here we can look for through our resource. Dot drawable. Dot. We're just gonna use um, any icon. So it's not necessary. So dot a b c underscore i c. So we're just gonna choose whatever, like a star, something like a star icon. Okay, star, small star icon. So we're just gonna use this bit here. Then. We set the content test. Set the content test. So we could say um, the button has been clicked. Account times. Yeah, so the last the last bit is I want to say Yeah, so we're just gonna put a semicolon here. So the last bit is we actually start a new variable NMC which is um notification manager compact notification manager compact so that one we get from um, this contest and then we can say NMC we can publish dot notify our no notification so we can say notification ID and then builder dot build build so this will actually build a notification so the next bit is we just set the count to add one anytime it's actually the button is clicked so this 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 pretty much it so what i'm gonna do is just gonna run it quickly then i'm just gonna pause it while the whole thing it, it opens so now as you can see here uh, i've got the app running now so what i'm gonna do is just gonna click on this bit so as you can see here now once I click this bit here I've got the notification being shown here so we come inside here it's a button clicked yeah so once you click on it so as you can hear that the sound of the notification so what I'm gonna do is just leave it here for now so I'll just I just hope you're gonna explore it further and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do because I've got lots of videos coming up and I hope this video helped you. Bye-bye.